Welcome back, everybody. And today we're going to be talking about blue calcite. And blue calcite has one of my personal favorite uses. And I use it constantly. I would like to say daily. And I'll get to that reason on a little bit later for that use of what I personally use it for. And this, this is just a beautiful light powder blue. Kind of looks like, if you didn't know any better, it kind of looks like celestite. But it's a very softer type of a crystal. And blue calcite, you can also polish this. It comes in a ton of different forms. It's easily polished, and therefore you could get it in palm stones, um, little gemstones where you could wear that around your neck. They make it into jewelry. So you should be able to find this in all different types of shapes and sizes. And just to let you know, it kind of bothers me because I have more than this. I have this specimen and I have a, a, a large one that I'll show you guys. But I, I have a palm stone, which I use, a polished palm stone, and that's the one I use daily. I cannot find it to save my life now. I go to make a video on it, and I can't find it. And I use it pretty much every day. So I don't know if it fell behind my bed or dresser, but I uh, it's really bothering me. But <laughs> regardless, this is blue calcite. Blue calcite has a very gentle soothing, relaxing vibration energy to it. And it is perfect for people that have anxiety, depression, all that type of stuff. Now, at any point, now I'm not saying to go and replace any type of medication you're on and grab some blue calcite, but this in conjunction with whatever works good. It's going to calm you, soothe you. It's not a very strong, powerful, vibration-emitting crystal where you're going to feel it immediately. But if you work with it and you kind of especially use it in jewelry or like a pocket stone or a bracelet and you wear it enough, it will give you those benefits. But my personal favorite use, which I'll get into in a little bit, it's, it's the best. For me, the best for that specific use. But in terms of anxiety, great to uh, work with at the end of the day. Anytime you're feeling that pressure, just pick up a piece of blue calcite and work with it. Now again, very soft, very gentle. It's not going to emit like a massive shockwave of energy and blast you into another world. This is a very gentle, soothing vibration to it. So, it also is perfect for your throat chakra. And that's kind of what it's paired with. And when you're talking throat chakra, you're talking communication, that type of thing. And it does help with communication. Um, and it does help open the, the throat chakra. But I don't use it for that specific reason, ultimately. So, while you're getting bored of seeing this... <laughs> This one I have, let me just show you my the big one, and then I'll tell you about my personal favorite use. This video doesn't have to be too long. So here is my favorite in terms of, well, the largest that I have. And this is a monster piece of blue calcite. And you don't need something like this to work with it, but I wanted to show you guys this. Look at this sucker. Just a mammoth piece of blue calcite. And it's just got that, similar to celestite, but it's not as crystalline where you could see through it. This is a very deep, kind of an ocean blue type of a color. But very soothing, very relaxing stone. Um, honestly, don't think I'm crazy. Well, you probably already think I'm crazy. But... If you, in terms of me specifically, I will often put my feet on top of this. And when I was talking about anxiety and all that kind of stuff, you have a kind of a rough day, take my feet off and place it on this. And it kind of pulls that gentle energy up through all the 
uh, energy, the little energy body, like it just pulls it all right up through the feet and really helps to calm you down and break up any type of anxiety that you have. Um, but just a big specimen. Um, again, I have some more and it bothers me that I can't find them. Of course, when I go to make a video, I can't find my, the stuff I want to show you guys, but the personal, my personal favorite crystal for one specific use where I use it daily is sleep. This is my favorite for sleep. Absolute favorite. And it really helps to calm you, relax you, still that mind that's running a hundred miles an hour, thinking about this, thinking about that. This will help still your mind and put you to sleep calmly and gently and keep you asleep throughout the night. And other crystals like, say, celestite, um, certain ones like that are a little too overpowering for sleep. And this really helps to keep you asleep. It helps you bridge that gap between the waking world and falling asleep and you just, before you know it, you're out. It's perfect for that. And I have a palm stone, which I actually, that's probably why I lost it, where I will hold it as I fall asleep and then before you know it, who knows where it went. But I will find it. <laughs> but this, it, it kind of goes along with, the sleep factor kind of goes along with the anxiety factor because the anxiety builds up all throughout the day. You're all wired up when you want to go to bed. This kind of stills the anxiety, calms you down. And before you know it, you don't even know what happened. You're out. So if you have trouble sleeping, reach for some blue calcite. And you don't need a very big piece, but it's perfect for that. And I'm going to touch on a little bit more. It's a little bit more powerful than you think when you get asleep. Now, here's the cool part. I said it works well with communication, correct? Absolutely. But more of the communication where you're already asleep. And you're probably thinking, what are you talking about? Well, when you want to lucid dream and get into kind of communication with more higher vibrational beings in dreams such as angels that type of thing this is perfect for that because not only does it get you to sleep but it also helps you to communicate while you're asleep with beings and you're going to get a lot of cool um, dreams now i don't get Tons of, and personally, I don't get a tons of lucid dreams with working with this. Um, I guess it depends on your energy body and how sensitive you are, but maybe because I worked with it so much, it dulled me, but something like Celestite is going to give me more of a chance to have a lucid dream as opposed to this is just going to kind of put me to sleep and keep me asleep. But in those dreams, you have a better chance of communicating well, not necessarily. I'm not going to compare it to Celestite. Celestite is probably even better if you want to communicate with um, higher dimensional beings when you're asleep. But this does similar. Just a little more gentle. Not as potent as Celestite. But great for depression. Great for anxiety. Great for communicating in dreams. You want to have... Maybe you'll have a lucid dream. Um... A lot of people reference this with astral travel, but again, astral travel is a little difficult until you master it, and that's a whole other ball game there, but can be used for that as well. And another cool thing with um, blue calcite is that it works in pairs with many other crystals perfectly, and I'm gonna uh, at some point I'm gonna have videos where. I'm going to have pairs of what works best together, but celestite, or excuse me, blue calcite works great when you pair it up with different types of crystals for different uses. So if you don't, for example, you don't, 
uh, fall asleep too easy with it and you need a little boost, add a little quartz with it. Something like that that's going to amplify its energy. And you might then get that little nudge you need, that little boost to put you over the top and help you get those uh, fall asleep better. Or if your goal is to communicate with higher dimensional beings, when you pair it up with some quartz, quartz is going to amplify your intent and help you to achieve uh, what you're looking for. But there's many other crystals that this works great with. So those are the main things with blue calcite. And I'd keep talking about it, but I only have two specimens to show you. And I don't want you to get bored out of your mind. So that's another video. This one is blue calcite. Blue calcite is very common. You could find this in pretty much any crystal store you go to. I would definitely recommend picking up a little sample like this. And little tiny specimens, all you need. Little palm size one can go a long way into helping you fall asleep. So definitely I would recommend checking out and getting yourself a piece of blue calcite and sleeping like a baby. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. See you, see you next time. Oh,